Star of 90 Day Fiancé Yara Zaya took to Instagram on Friday with an emotional video where she urged her followers to support Ukraine, after it was recently invaded by Russia. The Ukraine-born beauty, 26, revealed that though her family are in a safe place, there is a lot of crazy stuff going on there right now and that people of Ukraine need support. I just want for everybody to understand that if you're not there it doesn't mean it's not about you. It's about all of us because we all live in the same world, she said. The reality TV star started out her video by apologizing for her appearance, admitting that she hasn't gotten much sleep lately because of the tense situation going on in Eastern Europe. And in a photo posted to her Instagram story she wrote, Honestly, it's hard to sleep when you don't know what will happen to your friends and family. During the video, Yara spoke of her worry for her friends, who are facing uncertain circumstances. They're so scared. They're terrified. My friends are calling me. They're hearing bombs. They're hearing noise, she said. Yara also recalled how her female friend was forced to sleep in a parking lot. My friend just called me, she goes to sleep in a parking lot. It's cold in Ukraine right now, and the parking lot is kind of outside, she revealed. They're sleeping on the cold cement. From warm and nice bed to the cement. I can't imagine going there with my baby and sleeping there on the cement. The star then urged her followers to empathize with the Ukrainian people, saying, if we're sleeping in a warm bed it doesn't mean it's not about us. It's about all of us. Yara said she would be posting ways for her followers to donate and show their support. Ukraine needs you guys. They need all of your support. Pray for them. They need that, she said. The star also appeared on Fox News on Friday speaking about the dreary reality of the situation. I love my country. It's just so hard for me to even think that in 2022, in this world right now, war still exists, and people can kill other people for land and money, she said.